to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more all right, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, it is winter. It is basically winter by the time this video comes out. So, you know, it's getting colder. It's going to start snowing, all that stuff. But, you know, you still want to be fly. I know y'all still want to be fly. So let's get into the top 10 winter shoes for 2022. Going into 2023, obviously, because winter does go into 2023. And basically, the shoes in this list, I didn't want to title it under 100 because I'm not going to lie, not all of them are under 100. But I tried to keep it. Max is like... I think the maximum I got is like 180. 180 might be max, and that might be like 102 shoes, but everything should be like, you know, around like the $100 price range, if not a, a little bit above it or a little bit below it. So nonetheless, if you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day, hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless of course I'm your favorite YouTuber. Now that all the talking is out of the way, we're on the grind to 80,000 subscribers, so it would just mean a lot if you guys did hit that subscribe button, but nonetheless, let's get into this video. So I have like a bunch of like, you know, like mule type shoes. I have a bunch of, you know, high tops, low tops. We got a good mix of stuff. We got like boot type shoes as well. Before we even get into the actual shoes I have on the list, I'm going to mention two shoes that, again, these don't count towards the top 10. I'm just putting them on because I have these actual shoes. Solomon XT6 perfect for winter but i understand like retails 180 to 200 on these so not everybody wants to put that much out that's why i did find some other salamons on this list that are you know a little bit more affordable but for the people that you know xt6 in my opinion is the best like i'm gonna wear these all winter as well as when it actually snows and you know i can't like you know i gotta wear like a boot type thing i did just recently get these in a vlog you guys saw and these are, like the merle i forgot the actual name of these but it's basically any merle boot is gonna be good but again merle boots are expensive it's just that me and amanda were lucky enough to find these for 60 dollars. so if you could find any merle boots boots on sale highly recommend that so speaking of Merle let's get into this one this one is the men's winter mock 3 um, so this one right here is just like the regular winter mock these are literally made for winter and they have like you know it's like a sock liner so you put it on it's gonna fit to your foot no laces no none of that it's a straight slip on and then it has that rough suede on it so these will actually be good for you know water resistant snow all that stuff so highly recommend these and one they're super comfortable two they're hundred and five dollar retail and they're actually good for winter and they look good on foot like if you can style these if you guys have like that aesthetic that i'm going for with like this shoe then you know what i'm talking about you guys will be able to style these but these will look fire and they're just comfy i have a pair i don't have the winter pair but i do have a pair of the mocks and i love them i love wearing them they're comfortable and they're just like a nice shoe to just throw on so yeah and they have a cool they have cool colorways i'm not gonna lie they have like an all black one they have this tan one they have a green and then they have a white i really like the green or the tan i think the tan that i'm showing y'all is the best one next let's get into something a little bit more hype uh, i'll switch it up we're gonna go back and forth with like different styles and aesthetics and stuff so this one right here is the travis scott air trainer one now i put this on because the air trainer one like i'm not gonna lie it's like low-key like a boot like it's low-key a boot not like nothing crazy it's like a sneaker boot and um the air trainer one will definitely hold up in the winter time and you know they have a travis scott collab so honestly any air trainer one you don't have to go colorway specific we're just talking about the model but i put the travis scott since i feel like some of y'all would want the travis scott so yeah these ones are literally on sale for like one uh, 100 exactly i was about to say one dollar 100 exactly you could literally find the travis scott air trainer ones for a hundred dollars that's a brown colorway definitely gonna go with the winter vibe and honestly i like the air trainers um in general like the air trainer one the travis scott ones i don't like the shroud that goes over it but in terms of winter i mean that's extra protection so not, not a bad option next thing with the brown theme let's get into the nike dunk high chocolate so again mainly just nike dunk highs i know everybody's been fiending about the dunk lows you know for the spring summertime but it's gonna be winter I don't think you really want to be wearing your dunk lows, so why not you give the highs some love? I personally like the highs. I say this all the time. I like the highs more than the lows. That's just me. And I really like this colorway. Again, we're not going colorway specific, but this is one that I found. It is the chocolate colorway, and it just gave me winter vibes, so I wanted to choose this one. But yeah, dunk highs you can literally find anywhere from like hundred dollars to one twenty. If uh, there's obviously more expensive ones, but for the most part, a good colorway like this, this is literally one ten, one twenty. Not bad at all. I like this one the best. So. Yeah, and they're going to be more durable than a Dunk Low. Next, I promise this whole list isn't Nike. It's just I had all the Nike shoes first. So uh, this one right here is the Tom Sachs Nike Craft. Now, um, these ones, this is the yellow pair. These are reselling for like 140 to 160 I would say. And the reason I'm putting the Nike Craft on here is because Tom Sachs and Nike is dropping more colorways. So more colorways will be coming out through the winter. So I thought it was appropriate to put these because, one, these shoes are actually like, you know, pretty nice. Like, they look good. You guys probably like them. Some of you guys like them. I'm not going to say everybody. But they have that thick midsole with the grip on the bottom as well it has the double pull on like these are 
for a low top shoe, this is actually a pretty good winter shoe. And they're, they're nice. It's Tom Sachs. Like, you can't really go wrong with it. And again, as I said, there's literally going to be more colorways coming out throughout the entire winter. So if you want to get one of the first colorways, like the cream ones that came out or the yellow one, I really like the yellow one. But again, keep your eye out because more colorways will be dropping throughout the entire winter time. Next, this I found right here. This is a random shoe I found. Like, when I was looking at the Tom Sachs, this was like underneath the Tom Sachs on GOAT. And I was like, you know what? I'll put this on the list because it's something different. So this is the last Nike shoe. I promise no more Nike shoes after this, but this is the Nike free Terra Vista Next Nature Desert Ochre colorway. And these ones literally are $50, 50 to 70, 70 is the maximum, mainly $53. It says on GOAT. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know why I like these. Like, I don't, maybe I just see like a vision with them or something, but they look cool and it's like the craft like you know like the recycled stuff that nike does so it's also cool like environmental friendly i guess and the colors are cool like i like the purple and the pinkish color with that tan and the little speckled and the cream swoosh like i don't mind the model i don't know i've been seeing a lot of like free run like nikes recently and i think it's been bringing me back to like fifth sixth grade so i kind of been wanting a pair but this is not a bad option for 50 to 70 dollars is the cheapest shoe on the list and it's not bad and it looks good i like this colorway it gives it gives me like hiking like you know winter vibes that's why i picked it next as you guys can tell we have a whole theme going on with the brown shoes we got the adidas forum low 84. this is i believe i think it's an all suede shoe so you know it's not the best in terms of like you know actual usage but in terms of style and fashion i feel like this is a perfect winter shoe you got a bunch of browns tans got this olive green like it's a nice shoe this one just like i don't know why i just saw this and it gave me like not christmas vibes but like december like somebody has like a fireplace on like that's what that i don't know why i saw this shoe and i was just like yeah i gotta put this on the list so these ones again 110 pretty much 115 nothing really more than that it's a good colorway and the form 84 low and the form 84 high are definitely good sneakers as well um it's kind of like i feel like they're like adidas's nike dunks if that makes sense so like this is like adidas's version of a nike dunk but not, i'm not saying like in terms of style i'm saying like just like their nike dunk like these are these are tough these are an og model they're fire they're literally from 1984 and i like the way that they look next i know Kanye's canceled or whatever but this one right here the Yeezy 500 again I was gonna put the desert boots but the desert boots are a lot so I didn't want to put them on the list but the 500 highs you could find you know I say like 180 to 200 don't pay more than 200 for some 500 highs you could definitely find them cheaper just look around it might take a while but just look around um 180 to 200 for these is the most expensive on the list I believe and it's not like 500 highs are tough it's literally a desert boot but like Little, it looks more like a 500 obviously because it is a 500 but it's like the same feel same materials it's gonna get you through the winter like anybody that has a 500 high i'm pretty sure they can vouch for you like it's literally a boot like it's actually a boot like i've tried a pair on before i've wanted to get a pair i still kind of want a pair there's a few colorways i actually like in the 500 high because they always do weird unique colors with it like this one right here is like this brown and blue some of you guys are gonna think it's ugly i think it's cool it's something different and um yeah, not bad. Easy 500 high. Definitely do some research on them, and it's definitely a good boot. If you're into the Yeezys and you want to get a Yeezy or an Adidas or some type of boot type sneaker, definitely the 500. Next, going back to actually, you know, a sneaker that's $59, so another $50 shoe. This is the North Face Traction V Mules. Now, some of you guys are going to like these, some of you aren't. It's basically a North Face jacket on a shoe, and I love them. I had a pair. They're fire. Um, there's a lot of colorways. North Face has brought out a bunch of colorways since, you know, I have, I've had my pair. I had my pair almost two years ago now. They've got some hype to them they just did a cause collab on them as well there's a bunch of pairs of these you can find so many different colorways you don't have to get just the black but i think the black is the best in terms of functionality and just like wearable wise like you're gonna wear these od so definitely a nice pair of shoes for 59 dollars and they're insulated on the inside so they're actually gonna keep your feet warm i don't know about wearing them in the actual like you know when it's snowing out like as a boot I don't know if I'd recommend that. They do have a high top version of this though. So who, hey, who knows? It's basically, you know, a nice jacket on the front of your, on your shoe. Literally a jacket on your shoe. They're going to keep your feet warm. Perfect shoe for winter. I'm not putting no Uggs. So no Uggs on this list, but I will put these. So $59, not bad. Okay, so I saved the Solomons for the end because I figured, um, you know, I always talk about Solomons and I know not everybody wants to spend $180 to $200 on a pair of XT6s, XT4s, all that stuff. So I found two pairs of Solomons that are on sale right now on Solomon's website. Um, they have a bunch of sales stuff. Always go on Solomon's website, you'll find some cheaper models. And just because they're cheaper doesn't mean they're not cool. Like in my opinion, I actually like these models that I'm about to show you guys. Um, there's XT2s are only 120 retail, I believe. So that's not bad either. There's, there's other Solomon models besides the XT4 and the XT6 that need love, deserve love, and they're not as much as those. So these ones right here is on sale for $72. It is the Solomon X Crest Gore-Tex. So these are literally Gore-Tex shoes. And the reason I'm 
love putting Solomon on this list so much and I stress Solomon is because in terms of function, these shoes are actually functional. Like you can wear these in the snow, you can wear these outside, you can beat these up, they're not gonna look bad, like they look good and you still get that fire feel like that hiking style aesthetic, like running shoe, like you get the aesthetic if you're going for that aesthetic, obviously. But these ones right here, not bad, $72, but the retail on these normally is only $120. So again, you can find Salomons for literally under $100. You just gotta do some research and I like this colorway as well, it's cool, it's not bad. But now the next one we have is the Salomon X Ultra Pioneer Aerial. These ones are $82.50. Don't ask me why. Um, but $82.50. Retail on these is only $110 normally. Now, I like these better than the last ones. I don't know if it's because of the color. The models are very similar. There's just like a few things changed up if you look at it, but they're basically the same model. Like that's what they do with like the XT6 and the XT6 Advanced and the XT6 Pro. Like they're basically all the same model with like a minor change or like a different material. So obviously the last ones had Gore-Tex on them. These ones don't, but they're still durable. Like Solomon is still a durable brand. Like these don't have Gore-Tex on these, but I've been wearing these in the snow for the past two years. Like they're fine. So yeah, for $82, not a bad option. And I actually like this colorway, this brown with the gray. Again, you don't have to stay to these colorways. I'm just looking at the ones that I got y'all. So not bad options from Solomon. So that is pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below what you're going to be wearing in the winter. I'm actually curious to what you guys are going to be wearing. So comment it down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. We out. Grr. Bye. I'm on a road. I can't get caught. I'm a bit different state. My mama blowing on my phone. Seeing if I'm okay. I had to get up out the hood.